This is a short video on a PDF to DWG slash DXF converter program that I use in conjunction with Cabinet Vision to create my submittals. This is the website you can find it at www.dotsoft.com. This converter takes your PDFs that you receive from your architect and converts it into a DXF line drawing that you can then import into Cabinet Vision. You can use this to snap your walls to or to um, cut and paste sections into your own submittals. The cost for this program currently is $95 for a single seat and it is extremely easy to use and we will go over that in one second. So the first thing you'll want to do is find the PDF that you're going to use and what page it is. So I will take the floor plan of this hospital which is on page 6 of this document And now that I know what page it's on, I will close the document. I will now open up my PDF to DWD Converter. I will tell it that I want to look on my desktop. I will tell I want to use page 6. And now I will save it as a release 14 DXF and I will put that in my documents folder and we'll just put it at the bottom for right now so that I can find it. The program has now converted that page to a DXF so we will close the program and go to the next step. Okay, the next step is to take the DXF, which I have now placed in this folder on the desktop, and use it in Cabinet Vision for the layout. So I'll open up Cabinet Vision as normal. Go ahead and start a new job. I've already saved all my preferences for this particular job. And you'll notice one difference in my room layout. I make my walls 5 eighths of an inch thick. So that they're the same thickness as the drywall. And you'll see why I do that in just a minute. So before I enter in any walls, I want to add the architect's floor plan in to make my life easier. So I'm going to hit the CAD button on the left. And I go to Insert, DXF. I'm going to browse to the folder on the desktop by going to the desktop, to the folder, and then to the document. It's a DXF. I'm going to open it, import it. Everything imports to the zero layer. You don't need to worry about this right now. You hit OK and then click on the screen. Now I'm going to back away so I can see the entire floor plan. Now when this imports, it imports as a symbol. So right now if I click on any part of it, all of it is selected. And we actually need that for just a minute because we're going to scale this to the exact size it needs to be for the document. So I'll let go of it over here. And I noticed before, over in this corner right here, there is a dimension that we can use so that we can scale this drawing correctly. So I use my measure tool, and this says that it is 9 foot 2 inches, and it is from this point to this point, as I looked on the PDF. Now, I will set my tolerances to thousandths to get a more accurate read. 
Now it says that line is 123.720 inches long, but 9 foot 2 should be 110 inches long. So we have to scale this down so that that line is 110 inches. So we will get out our calculator and clear this and go 110 divided by 123.72 and we get this figure here 0 0.88910 so now we'll go back to our drawing and zoom out I'll use my select button select the model Now I will grab one corner with my stretch symbol right at the corner and I will start to stretch this. Now this is going to give me options on the left side of the screen where I can go to scale 8.89104 as we saw from the calculator and then hit enter. Now I'll release the drawing, zoom back into the line that we know should be 110 inches long, grab our measure tool, and measure, and as you can see it's exactly 110 inches long now. So we have correctly scaled the floor plan. Now I may go ahead and right click on this drawing, save it as a symbol into my symbols library, and name it floor plan for use in other rooms as we go through this job. In the meantime, I can now go through this job room by room and pick an area that I would like to work on and start entering my walls in 